Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, you're thinking about signing up for iRacing. Fantastic. However, the thought of spending thousands of dollars on a PC, wheel, pedals, monitors, sim rig, has your head spinning. When you're starting out, you don't need all that. Today I'm going to show you, as long as you have a TV and a desk, you really only need about 500 bucks to get started with iRacing in 2022. I'm going to show you the main components that you need and a couple of additional things you could get if you want to take your setup to the next level. So let's get going. The first two things you'll need are a TV with an HDMI input and something to clamp a force feedback steering wheel onto. Ideally, you will want something more sturdy like a play seat or a wheel stand, but this is really all you need to get started. All right, so you got your desk and your TV squared away. Now let's look at our main components that we need for our build. The first is a PC with a four core processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 100 gigabytes of hard disk space. The second is a video card with at least four gigabytes of RAM, and at last, we need a force feedback steering wheel. For our PC, I chose the Dell Optiplex 7010. These are basically office computers that are now on the secondhand market for enthusiasts and other uses. For us though, this will work perfect. It's got a quad core third gen i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. This entire computer without the video card was only $185. These are plentiful on eBay and other secondhand sites. The main thing to note with these things is that the power supplies that come with them are woefully inadequate. I replaced the standard 240 watt power supply that came with it with a 400 watt power supply from Micro Center for $16. Other than that, it's plug the video card in and you're good to go. All right, so next up, let's talk about our video card, the heart and soul of any gaming PC. This particular one is a four gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti from EVGA. If you're looking at a budget setup, either a 1050 Ti or a 1650 is going to be your best bet. The 1050 Ti is going to be cheaper because it is an older card. The 1650 is about 40% better than the 1050 and that's going to be reflected in the prices. This particular card I picked up on eBay for $150 plus tax and free shipping. All right, let's talk about our force feedback steering wheel. In the sub $300 category, you only have a couple of options. You have the Logitech G29 or G920, depending on the system, and you have the Thrustmaster T150. The T150 is typically about 30% cheaper than the G29 and has a better force feedback system. You can find the T150 on eBay and Facebook Marketplace for around $150 used. New, they're about $230. In addition to the power supply and the video card, the Optiplex Dell that I purchased did not have either Wi-Fi or a keyboard and mouse. For Wi-Fi, you can pick up one of these USB dongles for about 15 bucks. And for a keyboard and mouse, I like the Logitech K400 Multimedia Keyboard. It's great for sim racing because it's light, portable, and it's got the keyboard and trackpad all built in. I will put links for both of these in the description below. All right, so now we got our computer powered on, got iRacing downloaded, now we're ready to hook up our steering wheel. All right, our wheel and pedals are set up. The T150 will clamp to almost any flat surface with a simple screw clamp. One thing to note is that the pedals do tend to slide around a lot. So if you put something heavy behind them, I put a 20 pound weight, that'll hold them in place and keep them from going anywhere. All right, we're here in the ARCA car at Charlotte. Let's see how the setup runs. We're on class two settings, so medium high. Everything feels really good so far, nice and smooth. Getting about 110, 115 frames per second. Getting about a uh, hundred frames per second on the front stretch here. Nice and smooth, feels really good. Amazing what you can do with 10 year old desktop and five year old video card. All right, we'll check out one more car. All right, now we're at Sakuba and the Miata. Let's check it out. Getting about a hundred frames per second or so. Everything's looking really smooth, running really well. Feels really, really good. So yeah, everything looks really, really good. This is a lot of fun. If you're looking for something a little more sturdy than bolting a wheel to a desk, I think for under 200 bucks, the Play Challenge is gonna be hard to beat. It's lightweight, folds easily, and has a Velcro strap for your pedals so that they don't go anywhere. 
Also, if you have a T150 and you're looking to mount it to something like a play seat challenge, this plate from Rekmotech is going to be an absolute must. It's only $30 and bolts directly to the steering wheel, which then allows you to bolt it to any chassis. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a budget iRacing setup that you're happy with, tell me about it in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Take care. Have a good day.